The next issue is a really interesting one. <clears throat> so CRA talks about <clears throat> potential penalties for frivolous claims. This creates a lot of buzz <clears throat> that if you're involved in a frivolous claim, and I think this was largely sparked by a bunch of Globe and Mail articles that gave reason to take note of this. <clears throat> what would happen is, I guess there were certain firms that were profiled in the Globe and Mail that were basically going up and down every street and filing a shred claim for every business on the street. Hey, you run a 7-Eleven? We'll file a shred claim. Got a gas station? We'll file a shred claim. Got a line cutting business? These people, are, they didn't know what shred was and they definitely weren't qualified or doing shred. But the avenue was, hey, CRA doesn't have the resources to review all of them, so some are going to fall through. And this worked very effectively. A lot of these guys were filing nonsense claims and it might sneak through once or twice, and these guys were making their percentage commission and everything was good. CRA was becoming so alarmed because they started to identify all these and say, we want to come out for a review. Oh, you want to review it? We'll just withdraw the claim. And this is what was happening every time they would ask to review. And they were wasting a tremendous amount of resources on claims that had no possible chance of being SRD, not even remotely close. So they started to get a little upset and said, you know what? The act says, if you file a bogus SRD claim, you've actually created, committed fraud. It's a criminal felony. So on page 9 of the newsletter, it talks about section 163 of the act, says we can charge you criminally for a false re mass representation on an SRD claim. Not only you, we can charge any advisors who are complicit or advise you to do such a thing. Yes? My question on that is, as a preparer, I'm not signing it. So how can I be held legally responsible? You know, I'm given information. Right, right. So what happened is this company, I won't mention their name, went up and down the street and said, well, Peter, don't worry about it. We're the experts. We'll file a claim for you. You got no risk. If they say, no, uh, you know, oh, okay. I, I guarantee there's no risk to you, Peter. If, if they deny it, we'll just pull out the claim. If they want to come talk to you, we're just going to say we'll deny the whole, th well, we'll just retract it. If you, if you coax a client who would have just been going about their business, right. no, if you go around and knowingly and willingly convince people who aren't doing shred to file a false shred claim, they will prosecute you along with it. They may not even prosecute the client because they didn't know, but they're definitely going to prosecute you or whoever they think was complicit in masterminding the fraud. That, that should be just like accounting. As long as you ask the proper questions and they misrepresent themselves, that's not your fault. As long as it's not something that's completely obvious. Kind of like third party liability for accountants in general. As long as I ask you the right questions, if you give me the right answers and you were lying, I'm not responsible. Unless there's other things where I should have known that that couldn't be correct. Okay? So they talk a little bit here, and, and we're going to revisit this. This is cool. So they talk about we're going to prosecute some people and Later on in the year, we see, hey, they're not joking. This is really happening. They're prosecuting people. So the penalties in Section 163 start at 25% of the credits of claim, right off the bat, 25%. Then if you're convicted, additional fines of up to 200% of the credits claimed and imprisonment up to two years per offense. Okay? So we're talking criminal felony here. You can't cross the border anymore. You can't do a bunch of stuff. <coughs> Let's revisit another case a little later on and we'll talk about how they're going to prove that or how, the, I don't have to prove it, how they're going to approach that. And what situations, and then we can ask CRA at the end, what situations they would find offensive. I don't think they're out to punish someone for an honest mistake. I really don't. If we look at the facts, the people who are charged purposefully and willfully and knowingly made representations that they knew were to be false. Okay? And they did it on purpose. And we'll talk about the facts of that. And if you do that, if you knowingly and willingly lie to the CRA and make false statements to get tax credits, they're saying that's a criminal felony. You can go to jail. <clears throat> All right. And we talk about the more space for the project descriptions. It's actually characters, but the number of lines. It's probably an old issue by now. All right. <clears throat> 